Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Paper Crafting Thursday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I hope everybody's well and staying warm and cozy. I'm working on a Valentine and I have a workshop coming up for making Valentine's, so I've been playing around with a lot of different items. And I like a good shabby chic Valentine. I don't know, something about the antique Valentine's um, from the 1800s that really appealed to me. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. And I'm using several different stamp sets. So let me show you actually more the more the dies than the stamp sets so let me show you what I've got this is my card base the ones I'm using are the stippled roses bundle along with the uh, paper the DSP that that you can get with that and I've also used a little bit of Lifetime of Love for just some of the foliage that's in the set. And I've used the Adoring Hearts, oops, wrong one, sorry. The Adoring Hearts set. So this is the hybrid die and embossing folder. So the embossing folder looks like this okay and I did use the heart stamp here and the I adore you sentiment as well now I've got a few things from my stash that I'm also using now these are retired items but I know a lot of you still have them so I love my heart duo punch set okay and these are punches that allow you to punch a plain heart with a straight edge and then add it to a scalloped border so we'll we'll be using those and I'm going to begin with the stamping and I'm using a lot of different tools also so for this, you're going to get out your blending brushes as well. So let me just check to see that everybody can see and hear me all right. And that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and take my I'm going to be using these leaves and this little rose. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp my leaves. And my rose on a scrap of very vanilla. Hey Carol, good morning or afternoon, I guess. We're in the afternoon now how are you what's the weather like where you are carol okay so i have a couple of blending brushes i've got one of the little tiny ones and i'm going to use that for the rose let me get this on the Green so that you can see me okay. Maybe we need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. All right. Some ink on there. There's my rose. Just that easy and, and fast and then my leaves ok 
Okay, so that's all the blending. Now while I have my ink out, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, this will work. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So this reads, I adore you. Okay, and then I'm also using this one from the Adoring Hearts stamp set. And I'm just going to line that up. Like so. Okay, Carol's in West Michigan and she's got 15 to 20 inches of snow and I bet you it's freezing out there. Are you near the coast there, Carol? Are you near um, the lake? Now, it just so, I just, Again, this is the Adoring Heart stamp set, and it just so happens that this is very close to matching my punch, which makes me so happy. So if you happen to have this uh, punch set, I think you'll appreciate that as well. So there's my heart. I'm going to be doing a lot of sponging today. So there we go, that's my sentiment. And I'm also going to need that border. So this is the scalloped heart border punch. Here we go. And then, and I'll zoom you in a little bit closer in just a second. Now what I can do is pick this up and put these together. Just like so. Let the glue catch. And as soon as that isn't so wiggly, I can take my bone folder. Let me get my other one. There we go. There we go. So there's there's my sentiment. Now I have done a little bit of prep to begin with. And actually, also while I have my ink out, I want to get my the flap of my envelope. So let's do that. And again, I'm going to be using these beautiful leaves. I love this, this leaf design. I think I want it going this way. I guess I'm, I'm, I like all kinds of foliage. Foliage um, really appeals to me. Whenever a uh, stamp set or a die set comes out with well-drawn, well-designed foliage, I have to have it. And this is one of those. So I'm very pleased with that. So there's my, there's my envelope. Now, this is my card base. I have, I have uh, a handful of things over here. Um, Carol, oh, Carol says she's 20 minutes from Muskegon. Okay, well, I have to check that out um, because 
traveling to the UP and Western Michigan is on my bucket list. So um, I'm definitely going to be looking at the map and uh, planning a trip sometime, hopefully within the next year. So I may be knocking at your door, Carol. <laughs> All right, so what I have here is the um, satin edged ribbon. And this is very pretty. Let me get my rubber band off of there. I just use a rubber band to keep my <laughs> ribbons all together. So there we go. So I like this ribbon because it's very vanilla and also because it's got some uh, little touch of gold to it. So very, very pretty. It also, it has a, a sheer center. So this is, this is really an especially beautiful ribbon. And, uh, and this is available in the annual catalog. By the way, everybody, if uh, anyone is interested or considering getting started with paper crafting, this is a super duper good time to do that. And you can join the, my design team, which um, has a lot of benefits as well. But you can get a starter kit with all of the tools and uh, adhesives and papers that will help you um, get, get going with paper crafting and you'll be able to follow along with my classes. So if that's something that interests you, take a look on my Facebook page or go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and click on the join button because Normally, you would get $125 worth of product for only $99 and free shipping, but now you can get up to $155 of product for only $99 and free shipping. And that is product that you get to select and uh, choose for yourself. So whatever, whatever the things are that you like. Um, and then there's also the uh, celebration uh, reward program going on right now. And this paper I got for free with the uh, cel celebration reward. So you'll want to check that out as well. So because we're doing a shabby chic Valentine today, I'm going to take my scissors, my snips, and I'm just going to rough up the edges. And if it tears a little bit, that's okay. There could be some tears. So there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sponge the edges on that as well. and get into all of those little tears and abrasions. I don't want to see any white showing. Oh, thank you, Carol. Don't be surprised if I take you up on that. It may take me a little while to get out there, though. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to crunch up the edges because I want some wrinkles showing around the edge of the card. And what I want to do is once I get these little ridges sticking up, I'm going to go back over them with my sponge and just distress them a little bit further. Okay, so if I just come up gently... There we go. All right, so you're gonna end up with something that looks really grubby and scrubby and aged. Like so. I'm just checking to see that I got all of those white edges. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, 
Now there is there is an a uh, upside and a downside to this paper, but it's really it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can pretty much put it whichever way you like. I'm going to go ahead and grab some tear and tape now. And I'm going to add a little bit about two-thirds of the way down from the top. Give that a good burnish. And I'm going to lift that backing off. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this beautiful ribbon that I'm actually in love with, and I'm just going to press that down. Okay, so I've got two tails. I'm going to snip that at an angle so I can find my snips. You know, I think my snips have legs. All right, I'm going to cut that at an angle. So that I have something that looks like this. Gonna mount that onto a piece of cardstock that coordinates with the paper. In this case, it's Calypso Coral, but of course, you would choose whatever colors appeal to you. Then that centered on there. I'm just going to hold that down for a minute. I don't want to flatten out those wrinkles too much. I want them to pop up a little tiny bit, so I'm just coming in from the sides to make sure that it's adhered without being flattened. All right, so there is my base. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach that to my card base. Hi, Ginger. Okay, make sure I've got my opening going the right way. All right, so that is the basic structure. Now the rest of it is pretty much just decorating. And of course, if you want to make a landscape card. You could do that as well, which I may do this time. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that just to do it a little bit differently. Um, what I like to do is tie my bow in the position that I want it in so I can see where it's going to be. I can always untie it and retie it as many times as I need to, but I just want to get my design situated. So for that, I'm just going to give myself a loose bow there. And now I'm going to have to get the stamping cut and emboss machine out to cut out my artwork. So let's do that. Oops, wrong way. There we go. So, there it is. The stippled roses dies are really nice. So, um, you have your 
framelits, of course, that will cut out your, your main images. So the, um, the leaves, the single rows, and also the big rose cluster. But then you also have a lot of standalone dies with, again, that beautiful foliage. And I have a I have a little packet of um, scraps left over from my first card. Not only not only did I use the stippled roses dies, but I also used some dies from the other set. What's the name of that? Oh yes, Lifetime of Love. There's some very pretty um, foliage in here as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It's a little bit hard for me to see where the dies are with the camera overhead, but I think that's close enough. I'm just gonna run those through. Since I have the machine out, I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these beautiful, this is also stippled rose, so let me get some of the other dies out as well. So I love these uh, rose leaves and then this little spray of leaves. I think that should... That should do it. So for that, I'm going to be using the Distress Gold Specialty Paper. And... For this piece of that, I'm going to have to cut that down a little bit. You know, the, the stamp and cut and emboss machine is kind of a high priced item, but if you were considering joining the design team and stamping up, you could get it as part of your starter kit and get the free shipping, which would make it quite the deal. So that's a, that's a consideration you might want to think about. And then of course, you'd still have left over for um, lots of other things as well. All right, so I'm gonna just use my piercing tool to poke out my leaf. These are so delicate. Just wanna be careful, but look at, look at that, how pretty that is. Love that. And the same here. Just get this started. This is also a, a beautifully delicate die cut as well. All right, now put my dies back in before they go missing. All right, now back to my my stamped images. I wanna go ahead and add some sponging around the edges here. Okay. 
There we go. We're going to go in the center. Same on my rose. All right, now for the big decision as to whether I want to go um, landscape or portrait. I think I'm gonna go landscape this time. Let's give this a try. See how it comes out. It's all an experiment. So I'm making something like that. And I'm going to get my silicone craft sheet out to do some gluing on my on my beautiful die cuts. I just love these things. All right, so I'll zoom you in a little bit. So I'm just going to dot some tiny, tiny dots of glue on the leaves. And then at the intersection of the stems. What I like to do is to block, oh, I missed a couple. Hold on. There we go. I like to blot my glue when I'm doing something very delicate like this. All right. This is going to go down here. I'm going to wait before I put that on so I can see my placement. So I want dimensionals for the for the stamped images. So I'm going to go ahead and get these loaded up. little one for the point. Now, what I, oh, this one's missing the What I like to do with a die cut that's shaped like this is if it has a, a long stem or narrow part, I just use glue to hold that down because I don't want that lifting up over time and getting torn or, or bent. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that started. And I am going to untie my bow. For this next step. Get this arranged. Hold down that glued end for just a moment. Okay, so that's what that looks like now. My rows. I'm going to put this down first. So again, dot the glue, not too much. I 
actually I want to grab this from the other side and slip that underneath a little bit. There we go. Now my rose. One more. Okay. Check the placement of my ribbon. So this is going to have to come over a little bit. Put that on top. All right. Get that under there. All right, and then I have my sentiment. Now I'm going to do something. A little bit different this time with my sentiment so I want this to be on here something like this but I want it also to be a tuck spot because I'm thinking I want to tuck something underneath there that can be pulled out so I'm just going to just place the, the glue along this edge something like that I'm going to bring it down a little bit so I have room to get in there. So now I can take one of the embossed die cut roses and I could just slip that in there with a little message. get a little bit of ink on that. I'm thinking I might make a miniature envelope to tuck behind there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. So, you know, you don't have to be in a hurry to finish your design. You can take your time. I think I'm running out of glue here. go tie my bow maybe grab it there we go that cute
Now I like to secure my bows with a glue dot. So I'm just going to grab one of those and just get that underneath there so that stays right where I want it. Okay, we're almost done. All I want to do now is add some of my champagne rhinestones. This is another retired product, but I absolutely love these things. One of my favorite embellishments. So I have a bunch of those from the retired list. I'm going to just put three little tiny ones in my delicate leaves here. And that is my shabby chic valentine. So let's get the other one out. So here's my Here's my vertical, and here's my horizontal. Now I could also add a little more gold here and there. I have my, my goodie bag with all my leaves and die cuts and things, so you know, if you, if you want to fill in some areas, you can clip these apart and pop them in. But I think you get the idea here. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, this is um, the stippled rose bundle, which I think is really beautiful. And, um, and I used it along with the stippled rose DSP that's available for free in the celebration brochure. So you might wanna take a look at that. And again, if this looks like a lot of fun to you and I can um, tell you that I think it's a whole lot of fun. Let me know if you'd like to learn more about joining my design team and stamping up and I'll be happy to um, walk you through that and uh, tell you what that involves. In the meantime, you can also check out the full list of benefits at dandeliancottagedesign.com. Just uh, click on the, the join tab and you'll learn all about that. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a uh, nice, cozy, warm time in your craft room. Stay well, stay creative, stay happy, and I will see you next time.